ECGs are best interpreted using a structured approach, initially screening for deviations from a normal pattern. This short clip will cover a simple system of rate, rhythm, axis to help recognise the normal ECG. Rate. For an ECG printing at 25mm per second, one big square, 5mm, represents 0.2 seconds or 1 300th of a minute. The rate can be calculated by dividing 300 by the number of big squares between each R peak. If the waves are irregularly spaced, then another method works better. Here we measure a certain amount of time, rhythm strips often last 10 seconds. We count the number of R peaks in that time and multiply up to one minute. Rate is normally between 60 and 100. Faster or slower is abnormal, but do consider the clinical context. Rhythm. Remember that in a normal heartbeat cycle, the electrical impulse starts from the sinoatrial node, depolarizes the atria, and reaches the atrioventricular node. There it is held momentarily before depolarizing the ventricles via the bundles of Hiss. On a normal ECG trace, we would expect to see a P wave followed by a brief pause lasting two to five small squares before a QRS complex. If we can't find P waves, or they appear in the wrong place or in the wrong direction, then something isn't quite right and the trace is abnormal. Axis. ECG axis corresponds to the direction the heart is sitting within the thorax. Deviations from normal could indicate hypertrophy of the chambers. One quick method to determine the axis is to look at leads 1 and AVF. Point your left thumb up or down to match lead 1 and your right thumb to match AVF. If both thumbs point up, then the axis is within the normal range. If left is up and right is down, then this would be left axis deviation. If right is up and left down, then we have right axis deviation. This is a starting point for ECG interpretation. After checking rate, rhythm and axis, Go on to look closely at each lead in turn for any other abnormalities.